Okay, here are all the pieces of the heavy duty drill press scattered on the table. The main body, rails, holder, uh, chuck is going to be there, and coupler. And we're going to use our little rotor, universal rotor, for the spinner. ready to weld for the rails. Starting to mount the hydraulic cylinder on a drill press. We're ready for welding. Cylinder mounted in the bottom. Look in the hoses. Here's a quick overview of the heavy duty drill press. So we start with the hydraulic motor and the auger, which is part of the live track infrastructure, and then two inch shaft, coupler, chuck from a small lathe, one inch bit, drilling holes just like this. Here's a heavy duty milling drilling vise. In the back we have the cylinder for raising the structure up and down along this track here of, of quarter inch angle. Here's the view from the back, your raising cylinder mounted by a, a long pin so that there's a little bit of give to release the pressure on a bit and same, same below. And the hydraulics are run from this valve. Just for details, it's a system in series. We found out that if you, if you have the system in parallel, i.e. coming out of the two valves, then upon the hydraulic cylinder being pressed down, it doesn't get a lot of pressure because all the fluid is going through the hydraulic motor. So we had to run this in series where the first the fluid goes through the motor and after that it goes into the cylinder so that the cylinder always has sufficient pressure. And the pressure is about, we can set it between 500, uh, probably between 300 and 1500 pounds for the down pressure on a bit. Here we have a one inch bit. I think we can dr drill up to perhaps like two, three inch holes, which is super heavy duty. And this frame here is actually getting quite light for what we want to do. It's uh, This thing really bends under, under the pressure if you're going to do heavier drilling. Here's an example. Let's take a one inch thick piece of slab steel and see if we can drill that. Here's the finished product.